What's up YouTube, it's your boy Michael, and in this video I want to talk a little bit about Cloudflare workers. Now, before I get into how to set up a Cloudflare worker, one thing that I want to share with you guys, in my previous video, one of my videos, I talked about a project called SEO Heist that I was working on, which basically allowed um, any user to enter a URL, a sitemap URL, um, give it a name, and then enter your email, and then you click convert, I'll move my mouse, it'll, it'll, it'll tell you how much it costs to do an SEO heist. You click start heist, and then it starts to cook. And basically what an SEO heist is, you take a competitor sitemap URL, you see what blog posts they have, and then you basically use AI to generate a blog posts based on those titles. Obviously there'd be different blogs, but it's just the SEO game. Some people are like, oh, this is not moral, this is not this. Uh, business is business, and at the end of the day, I'm just a developer building tools. Now there was an issue when I was developing this project, you could see some of the code here. You can see my terminal, how it just extracted the titles from the sitemap. There's over 1,200 titles. Um, and it starts to do its work. Like it starts to generate blog posts and all that type of stuff. But one thing um, issue I started to experience is that Vercel in production would time me out because uh, the function that generates blog posts takes a lot of time. Right. And I'm using Vercel's hobby tier. So I'd have to pay um, to have it work for, I believe, like a much higher tier. Um, I don't even think the pro tier can handle it. So I started doing some research and I found out about Cloudflare workers. And that's what we're going to talk about today. So and then it says here, build serverless applications and deploy instantly across the globe for exceptional performance and reliability and scale. So basically what I'm using Cloudflare workers for is, you know, that function that takes uh, quite a long time to execute, the one that generates all the blog posts. Essentially, I'm going to put that function in a Cloudflare worker and then I'm going to call the Cloudflare worker via an API. And I tried to look for tutorials on this, um, but I couldn't find any good ones, right? Or ones that weren't like three years old, five years old. So that's what we're going to do today. So what you're going to do is you're going to go on Cloudflare's website, log in. I wanted to cover some of the URLs of the projects uh, I have running on my Cloudflare. Um, and you're going to go to this tab right here where it says workers. So let's click here. And what we're going to do is you're going to create an application, create worker. And this is essentially your worker. So this is a sample code that they have for you. This is your worker name. So we can call this YouTube. Uh, tutorial right and then we just click on deploy so our Cloudflare worker is deployed we can configure the worker where I want to go is I want to go to quick edit and this is where all the sauce all the magic happens so you can see here I have a little panel where I can test my workouts I hit send you see that the response is hello world and just to make sure that this works uh, subscribe to Ross Mike's YouTube channel. So let's hit send on that. Oh, notice how it still says hello, hello world. That's because I haven't saved and deployed. So let's save and deploy. Should take a few seconds. Now hit send. There you go. Subscribe to Ross Mike YouTube channel. Now you can develop here, but what you can also do is it says here develop with Wrangler CLI. So let's get that set up. It says build preview and de deploy your workers from Wrangler command line interface. Once set up, you'll be able to quickly to iterate your workers code. So this is what I'm going to do. Let's go to terminal. Let's cd into my desktop. Let's just call this worker tutorial cd into worker tutorial. Let's just open this up in VS code. So now let's follow the instructions. First, it says uh, global add uh, Wrangler. Uh, before I do that, let's open the terminal here. Let's do npm init y. So we initialized our folder. Now let's add Wrangler. Okay, perfect. Now it's going to say log in to Wrangler. So we're going to do Wrangler login. It's going to open up my browser just to make sure I allow the connection to happen. Perfect. My my terminal has connected and now what we're going to do is we're going to initialize this project so let me drop in that it's initializing oh i didn't even have to do npm init so excuse me on that and it's asking do you want to use git for version control yes if you want to use github so what i'm going to do is cd into yt tutorial so now 
I have my worker set up. Now, if I wanted to push this code, now let's say I wanted to push um, uh, subscribe right now. All I would do is Wrangler publish. And then if I refresh here, you can see that my worker has updated. So now I can work from here. So this was the function that was on my Next.js app that took a little long um, to finalize, which is why Vercel would time me out. Essentially, I would give it a list of titles. So you can see here, um, if you look at this uh, if statement, I'm basically checking if it's a JSON, then do request.json. If it's a text, then do request.text, right? Just to make sure what's being passed on is, you know, per perfectly extracted. And then I loop through the titles, right? So I do data.titles because it's an array. So I loop through it and I basically run this try catch. I'll just show you guys in a second. So the prompt is write a professional engaging blog post for the title, pass over the title. I use Mistral uh, AI. Basically, this is the fetch, right? And then I use the Mistral medium um, model. And then I, you know, parse through the response, which is a JSON. I iterate to show how many uh, blog posts have been generated. I push that into blog post array, which I initialized outside of the for loop, right? I push it and then there's a catch if there are any errors, console log all the blog posts, and then I return it as a response uh, with an object that has message and blog post. So let me show you guys how this works. So I'm going to publish this. Right, so this is going to push to my Cloudflare worker, which it did. Now let's just refresh this to see it. So we have our Cloudflare worker set up. Um, I have some uh, an object uh, titles with an array of titles, and we're going to simulate a post request. So this Cloudflare worker should work. Let's hit send and let's see what happens. Okay, so if you notice, this console log just fired, showing all the titles. Okay, an array of titles. And then generating generating for title, title, careers just fired. So now all we're waiting for is this rep response to complete. If this console log fires telling us the blog number, then this Cloudflare worker is working. And this is what I'll be using on my SEO website load. So let's see if this fires. And there you go. Blog number one has been generated. And just to prove that this is working, I'm going to add a console log here that gives us result results so we can see the blogs generating so we see that blog number one is generated let's just redeploy this and then fire this again so okay it's been deployed let's clear our console let's send this again and brothers and sisters there you will have it the first blog has been generated so now I can leave this function and let it continue to do its thing. And then once it's done, it will return a response that my Next.js website will be able to capture and thus my SEO heist website working smoothly. Now to give you a little visual view, I've turned it to a dashboard where like now you can, um, you know, access stuff more easily. If I go to heist and I click access, it's just going to give me a list of the blog post i'm still not sure how to deliver the data or like the blogs to the end user right now this is what i have and then if you want to up your credits you just click that top of credit or buy credits here very simple very easy but i hope this video was sort of helpful i just want to share some tools that might not might, might not regularly be talked about in the web dev space and i think cloud workers are very interesting i've never really deployed one to production so it's going to be my first time so if you want more updates on that or you want a full-scale tutorial i just showed you how to set set it up easily but there's a lot more you can do with it if you'd like that tutorial please let me know in the comments and i checked my youtube analytics most of you are not subscribed it would mean the world to me if you hit the subscribe button like comment do all that stuff all your support means the world to me i appreciate you all thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one